mystery of stuff. His mother told him, listen to me, son, your uncle will visit us today, and I want to go to the grocery store to buy some goods for dinner. She gave him money and called her daughter and said, go with your brother and help him carry the goods. After a while, the boy returned from the grocery store. However, his sister was not with him. His mother said, did you buy the things? The child said, no, I did not. The mother said, what are you saying? Where is the money then? I spent all the money, the child said. The mother left what she had in her hands and said, What? Where did you spend the money? Every day, the little girl brings this bag and fills it with books and school supplies. She also prepares sandwiches and packs them in a lunchbox. She is not a mother. She is not even a student. So for whom is she preparing all this? Well, this little girl is doing this daily for her little brother. The mother also prepares her son to go to school, dresses him, brushes his hair, and gives him his stuff. She even feeds him breakfast. The father, on the other hand, drives him to school. The little boy says goodbye to his sister every day before he goes to school. Well, I wonder, why doesn't his sister go to school with him? One day, the little boy returned from school and found his sister browsing his books and contemplating the colors and the letters written on them. Once she realized that her brother was in the room, she quickly gave him the books and said, let me help you put the bag down. The little girl always brings her brother a cup of milk while he's studying at night. When she finds him reading stories instead of revisiting his lessons, she would close them and tell him, you have to study and do your homework. Don't get distracted by anything else. Every morning, she wakes up her brother to prepare himself and go to school. One day on the weekend, his mother said, why didn't you wake up early? You've slept too much. The child replied, it is Saturday, mom. The mother said, even if it's the weekend, your sister has been working since morning. Don't you feel her? She added, listen, son, your uncle will visit us today. I want you to go to the grocery store and buy some goods for dinner. She gave him the money, called the girl, and told her, go with your brother and help him carry the stuff. I am surprised. The girl is older than her brother. Why didn't the mother give the money to her instead? After a while, the little boy returned from the grocery store, but his sister was not with him. His mother said to him, did you buy the stuff? The child said, no, I didn't. The mother angrily replied, what are you saying? Where is the money then? He then said, I spent all the money. The mother left what was in her hands and said, what, are you kidding me? He looked to the right and said, I spent it on this. Suddenly, his sister came out from behind the wall wearing school clothes. The mother remained surprised and shocked for a while. A heavy silence filled the place. The little boy suddenly said again, Listen to me, Mom. Starting today, my sister Fatima will go with me to school every day. You will buy her books and give her breakfast just like me. The child gave the mother a plate and said to her, Feed my sister now. And then the mother burst into tears. The father was standing in shock. The mother said to her daughter, Come on, baby. The girl approached, eyes filled with tears. When the mother fed her daughter, the father was delighted. Thus, he approved to let her go to school and went out to buy her school supplies. The message of today's story is that there is no difference between your children, male or female. They are all a blessing from God. They all have the right to be educated and treated equally and moderately. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies, hit the subscribe button, and activate the notification bell so you never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.